Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found a YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at whether sharks can really grow an unlimited number of teeth. While sharks aren't exactly the ruthless predators most Hollywood features make them out to be, see our video on Do Sharks Really Not Like How Humans Taste for that one, they do possess a number of frighteningly efficient mechanisms to assist with aquatic hunting, including ultra-streamlined bodies, high intelligence, the ability to detect electrical fields and minute changes in water pressure, great hearing, incredibly sharper vision, amazing sense of smell, lemon sharks can even detect tuna oil as a concentration of just one part per 25 million, and the topic of today, many rows of razor are sharp teeth, including the ability to rapidly replace them. But are sharks able to grow an unlimited number of teeth throughout their lives? Yep, they absolutely are. In fact, while the number varies wildly on things like the type of shark in lifespan, it's not out of the question for a single shark to grow as many as 30 to 50,000 teeth in its lifetime. This might now have you wondering how exactly the process works for replacing the missing teeth. Well, in a nutshell, all sharks have multiple series and rows of teeth. The number varies between types of shark, but most have between 5 and 15 series of teeth counted from front to back in their mouths, which themselves contain between 15 and 25 rows of teeth counted along the jawline. As an example of how this can vary, the bull shark possesses an unbelievable 50 rows and 7 series of teeth, giving it somewhere in the vicinity of 350 frightening teeth at any given time. These teeth are arranged in such a way that the frontmost series will always house the largest teeth, with the series behind it holding slightly smaller teeth, and behind that holding slightly smaller ones still, and so on until we get to the rear series, which are most recently formed. These front teeth are referred to as the shark's working teeth, and they are the ones primarily used for biting, tearing flesh, and all of the other things that a shark is thinking about doing when it's swimming around below your legs as you dangle in the ocean. This isn't to say that the second, third, or even the teeth located towards the back of the shark's mouth aren't used when a shark is devouring something like your lower half, it's just that the front series of teeth are typically subjected to do the most stress when this occurs. Do note here that in truth, only about a dozen people per year are killed by sharks versus approximately 20 to 30 million sharks killed per year by humans, according to the Florida Museum of Natural History. Which all leads us to say, well, who's the apex predator now, sharky? Given that shark's teeth are not particularly deeply rooted and that they have an incredibly powerful bite, sharks lose teeth pretty frequently when eating, and they usually lose the front ones. Not only that, but they also naturally shed teeth throughout their lives, with the front teeth being replaced approximately every few weeks. This rate varies by the type of shark, age, and even the temperature of the water. Younger sharks typically replace their teeth faster, and at least in some types of sharks, colder temperatures help them hang on to their teeth longer. This means that the teeth in a shark's mouth are nearly always in pristine condition and quite sharp, as they typically never get the chance to be dulled or worn over time before being shed or broken off. Whenever a shark loses a tooth, the tooth directly behind it will begin to be pushed forward into the area left by the old tooth, all while growing to the size of the tooth that it is replacing. At the same time, the tooth behind that will do the same thing, and so will every other tooth until the shark once again has a full set of teeth, more or less making a conveyor belt of death. And if you're wondering whether or not losing teeth via them breaking off when they bite something hurts sharks, well, this isn't clear. Shark teeth do have a certain amount of flex. In great whites, that's approximately 15 degrees of flex, which they can sense, using this fact to help them feel things, not unlike how a human might touch something to feel its texture. But as for pain in overflexing to the point of the loss of a tooth, observation of sharks in the wild and captivity seem to indicate that, if there is any pain involved, it is only minor discomfort at most. Given how critical it is for sharks to have a good set of chompers and how easily teeth are broken off, it will likely not surprise you that this replacement process happens quite quickly. As for an exact time frame, this varies and can be influenced by a number of factors including the size, species, and age of the shark, and how recently the tooth replacing their missing tooth itself was replaced, and the shark's overall health. But for a ballpark figure, this process can take anywhere from between a single day to a few weeks. However, even in the event that replacing the tooth does take weeks, the smaller teeth are still useful, meaning the loss of even several teeth in the first series is highly unlikely to negatively impact the shark in question. So, to sum up, as far as experts are aware, there is no upper limit on the amount of teeth a shark can produce in its lifetime. As long as it remains healthy, a shark will continue to grow new teeth until the day it dies. 
As a side effect of all of this, the ocean floor is covered in many trillions of shark teeth, which is one of the reasons we know so much about shark evolution. You see, as with most teeth, because shark teeth are primarily made of a hard calcified tissue known as dentin, for reference, elephant tusks are primarily made of dentin as well, surrounded by an even harder layer of enamel, their teeth don't typically decompose. This combined with how relatively quickly their teeth are fossilized by sediments on the ocean floor means we have a massive number of ancient shark teeth to study today. As another interesting aside, a shark's placoid scales are also made up largely of dentin and don't grow in size once in place. So to accommodate this, as their bodies grow, they produce new teeth-like scales to more or less fill in the gaps. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this seven days a week. Also, check out some of our other videos, which are over there on the right. And thank you for watching.